Okay, the end of our two weeks of this leg of the journey. I uh, didn't quite get the back building here demoed as we sort of had hoped, as we focused on getting rid of everything in this next room. So a quick check. Here's uh, one of the oven trays. We have an earlier video for that. Here's three more of these giant oven trays that uh, I believe our contractors are going to make benches out of. A couple of the wheels. I'm going to keep the geared wheel that's behind this guy. Ah. So there's two wheels here. I'll get the geared one. He'll get the other one and make uh, whatever he wants out of it. Some scrap value, but I think there's better sentimental value to keep those and clean them up and do something with them. And into here we have, from earlier videos, people may remember this was a very small little room back here. We had the giant oven, now gone. We have the walls stripped of probably four generations of wiring, um, cleaned up on this side. When I come back, we're going to sandblast all these walls. We're going to build a new wall here. This will all be gone. The stairs will remain up there, but this will be a parking stall. And most of the ceiling utilities are out, as people may have caught from an earlier video. We did make a little discovery up here. So our joists are, that one was clearly busted. This one is shattered beyond a doubt. The next couple here are also gravely broken. Uh, we have been speculating that this little outcrop here was a chimney of sorts. And on the roof side is actually a newer built chimney above this. So we have a sneaking suspicion either intentionally or unexpectedly that chimney fell on the roof, shattering one, two, three, four joists in its uh, process there. Uh, so it's... It could be worse. We sort of uh, anticipated needing to put a steel I-beam down the middle anyway because we're going to have a deck above this. So as much as this was a surprise, uh, it didn't necessarily add to what has to be done because we were already looking at reinforcing it. Uh, another thing up here we didn't expect was to find whatever this was. We're speculating this was either an original skylight. This building was 1855. So probably 30 or 40 years before electricity. Uh, people are asking, is this fire damage up on the joists? And uh, so that's all fresh deck, obviously. But no, this is probably from a wood fire. This was a bakery in 1855, and it's been a bakery for 150 years. So we believe that this is just wood smoke soot. And then later when they converted to coal heat, it just contributed to the soot that goes into this. So, um, that's our suspicion. This was a, originally a second bathroom that is now gone for, well, storage. This will be my grinding station here. This will be all the filling, ceiling equipment. We're going to go and put the uh, glass blowing station and kind of right in that little footprint area. And of course, we'll get the big double carriage door that we can open up and people can watch me blow glass. Uh, we're kind of back into this cutout here is going to be the new doorway. So we saved the door that was the door to this storage room, and we're going to put it along this line. And then this will become, I'm now standing at what will be the entrance to the new studio. And again, we'll sandblast all the brick and then seal it, and then we're going to leave the brick. We do have permission to add two more windows back here. We've decided this window will be good enough. I need all the shelving space I can get, so that wall is going to be all shelving and workspace. Uh, we are going to add a second window here. We do have a champagne wine bar next door. I'm not sure if we can see much of it. You can see a little bit of the tables, and that's their, their patio. So <clears throat> we'll probably add one more window over here. This will be gone. We shall remove all of that. Um, put one more window, and for what the other window would have cost us, we did discover after removing, if I can find them up here, here we go. We have one, two unintentional skylights from removing some of the vents. So maybe not in that specific location, but we will probably put a skylight right about here, just off and over from the equipment. Maybe I just don't want the sunlight to hit me while I'm blowing glass. So somewhere in here, maybe close to that, 
we will probably add a skylight that actually opens so I can crack open the ceiling and let some of the heat out. Um, I like that idea. These are a couple of the big heat res uh, resistant mats. It's kind of like an old insulation material that used to be here, which is the footprint of the big oven. So I'm going to keep a couple of those and we'll put that underneath my oven. Uh, we have yet to find out what's underneath here. We're doing all sorts of exploratories. I don't know if this really shows that well in the image, but this line along here was the back of the building at one time. You can see the brick line there it was clearly something added. But right here, the floor is solid, solid, and then slopes away quite a bit through here. So we suspect that the joists here are all sagging and probably need floor joists underneath it in the crawl space to prop that up a little bit. Then this becomes solid and then it starts to slope away a bit again. Um, next time back here, we're going to have all sorts of fun figuring out. Um, we're we're going to play, where was the original foundations? So this was three buildings. So the original back building ended along that seam right there. Then we had another add-on that ended along there. And then we had another, because we can tell there's kind of a foundation below us right here. Then this side is another add-on <clears throat> where that outcrop used to be where the building ended. When they took this wall out and added the back building, if my camera will pick it up, there is an iron tie rod that runs through there. You can see kind of the painted over, you know, bolt and plate on the outside. So we figure they put that in there when they took the back wall out just to make sure that these two walls here didn't fall outward. So fun with antique buildings. Uh, so new ending line kind of right at the bar and then all of this will be gone, gone, gone. And of course when we get back, the power plate is on the power panels on the wrong side of the wall, so that will go there. So signing out for this trip. Um, next one should be interesting as we start really aggressively making a play to get this building shored up, sandblasted, start running our electric, get ready to move the studio in here. Cannot wait. Over and out.